Zeddy. Today we have a huge beast. Do you recognize this game? It's Tide of Iron from Fantasy Flight here. I'm not using a stand-up now because this box is super big. Just see the size of this thing with my hand here. This is like a huge rectangular rectangle here. So high, so high, it reminds reminds me of uh, the World of Warcraft game. And we are going to open today as a second hand unboxing. I, I bought it second hand to someone and I'm very curious on the inside. Okay, I've changed to the wider lens now and I'm ready to be able to experience everything. So let's open, let's see what's here. Okay. Tide of Iron, a board game of the World War II technical combat for two to four players. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is very heavy, very heavy. And I see, seems like some of the things are still sealed. Here, some plastic here. Okay, so I'm going to put it a little bit further away. I'm going to change to the normal camera see everything in detail, in detail now. So, it's the typical Fantasy Flight catalog from fall 2007. So this, this is a piece of history, board game history. Interesting. Starcraft to board games, uh, the board game. So, you know this box. This is as usual as this one. It's the same same model of box. So we're talking about a large game like Starcraft and Warcraft. So these are games from 15 years ago. 15 years ago. We are opening something that has 15 years. sell like crazy prices. Oh, the sand, yes, so this box is the same size. This rectangular box as well. There you go, Tide of Iron. I also bought the expansion. So in the next video, you will see the contents from the expansion. Arkham Horror. Game of Thrones, the first version. So War. Twilight Imperium, so another big box. Twilight Imperium, the third edition. Room bound. Okay. I hope you're feeling as nostalgic as I am today. Right now, looking at these catalogs, I, I, I love looking at these things for all the all the, the companies. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so now let's let's look at in, into the game into the game content. Okay, rules of play. I still need more room here because this is so much, so big, so big, so big. Okay, play. The manual is big. Lots of pay. Look at this. Look at this. I don't see here on the box more manuals. So this must be, this must also include the game scenarios or something. This is very much like, um, it looks like Memoir 44. Um, I cannot compare in terms of playability and rules and mechanics, but um, I believe the style is very similar. Although Memoir 44, maybe Memoir 44 um, stayed better in everyone's memory, and this game didn't went much forward or remade. But if, if, you, if you have played both, leave your comments, please. Okay, so big line of sight. So many rules here. This is a deep game, very complex. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm skipping some pages here just to make sure that... Okay, and, and I didn't see any scenarios, so... This is just rules of play. Almost 50 pages of rules of play. Okay, 
I, I believe you would prefer to have an overview of everything, so I'll show you you now everything on a far angle. So player reference sheet, even even the player reference sheet is four pages, not just one. American American reference sheet, American reference sheet. Okay, so American and German, just two factions, German and American. Okay, and there there is a scenario guide, indeed, a scenario guide. How many scenarios do we have here? At the breaking point, one scenario, liberation, and see you have like, what seems to try to look like realistic figures or pictures. Some of them do like do look like real pictures. Mm, yeah, mostly, mostly you see, especially those here, they look like real pictures from Second World War. Silence the guns. Crossroads. Okay, it's like eight scenarios, probably. Secret assault and some references. If you want more scenarios, just go and buy the expansions. Okay, so many small dices here. These are very small, like off size of a normal one. Mm -hmm. And what do we have here now? Okay. So, still in shrink, so this is a, I thought this game was second hand, but this is an unboxing, not a second hand unboxing, right? So, although the box didn't have shrink outside, inside the components are still sealed, apparently. Um, so, these are the tiles, the different tiles, and the tokens, tile terrain tiles and tokens, medals. Okay, so I don't think it's worth it to open and see everything because they will all look the same and it won't make much of a difference here on video. And there's the rest of them. Look at this. Look at this. It's so heavy. So heavy. More. Um, I don't know. These are, these are not tokens. These are really the scenarios. Let's, let's take a look. These, these are like um, tiles that have all the details, so let's, let's see what's inside. Trying to keep the plastic there, at least. Okay. Let me show you what we have here. So those are, these are like 10, 10 boards, 10 tiles hexagonal shapes and um, terrain design and on the other side you have one a one a one b right and these are the things that you use to set up the map the smell still after 15 years being sealed in plastic it smells like new amazing a lake scenario with a bridge more holes River with holes, some, some cows here. Okay. Three, four, five. So small, the threads. So small. Some forest with the river here. Uh huh. Another small forest. So the scenarios, they all look like happening in European grounds with plains, fields and uh, forests, not snow, not mountains, not deserts, like typically see in other games, maybe with the extension. This one has a like house or big house or castle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 12, 12 boards to be exact. Well, okay, this one has houses as well, forest, and this is the last one, 12. There we go. The 12, the 12 boards of terrain boards that compose the base game. And now you look and say, hey, 
So the box is empty. Mm, but if you already have any of these games, you know there's a secret here. So under this board, cardboard, there's the rest of the party. And yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Miniatures. I'm going to change camera to see the details for miniatures. Okay, now with a closer camera. Let's open. These look like the German troops. So let's just see what we have here. Health rack. Mm, it looks similar to Memoir 44, if you if you know. Okay, I have a health rack. Now let me get a tank here. Wow, the tank looks good. Does it rotate? No, it's just a fixed mold, right? Fixed piece. Light truck. You see different types of tanks. Two different types of tanks here. I don't know how realistic they look. I am not familiar with uh, historical tanks in detail. Hmm. And you have now a, a rifleman, and there's a. A piece uh, something here to um, put on a stand. You see, there are some stands here, so you should like put four riflemen maybe on one of these. There's another one. So, in the bag, you have lots of them. I'm just taking a look here. So, these two are like uh, they look like a suppress squad with a mountain gun to suppress. Any fire. What else? Let me see if I can spot anything different here. Mm, maybe, but they all look the same from the outside of the bag. Okay, so that's it. Let's try the American troops. And we also have tanks. Is it the Sherman tank? Light tracks, exactly the same but in a different color. Mortar, mortar crew. Okay. The tanks, they all look the same. Rifleman, machine gun, different kind of one. This one is pointing the gun now, aiming the gun at something. That's it. That, that looks like it. The after uh, this is a it's a half track as well. But this one doesn't have a hole like the German one. Hmm. In terms of different kind of miniatures, there. They seem very limited. And then what do we have here? So let's take let's start with this one. You know these games they need to have cards for you to play with powers or to for your movements. And I don't know the rules yet of this game, but let's figure it out together. Okay, so in terms of packs, okay, hmm, it's a good card, right? And I'm here, I'm seeing the same thing. So, what do we have here? Okay, so this. These all look the same. Intelligence reports. Um, intelligence reports. Okay, heavy fog. They have a picture. Shattered morale. 
Cool your minds. Merciless soul. Okay. So I'm just showing you for you to see what's here. The, the cards are, they have a shiny surface, so you have reflection zero, light, because they are not matte finishing. They, they have some kind of varnish that makes it shine. And this, this is like flavor text. Apparently, flavor text to illustrate the content of the card. And then, what's this? American Air Support Deck. One deck one, ground support deck one. Okay, so this looks like the American deck. So is it? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. So, let's start with the support. Try to make a split here. For us to understand the logic. So now we are seeing ground support deck one. Desperation, all or nothing. So these are the powers you use for sure, right? Right, leadership. Command is it like German or American or, or use it for both, maybe? I think I am seeing the same kind of cards for both. Hmm. Okay. And then although you have the star here. Oh this one says American air support, so the, this is green, American for sure. Bombing run, strafing run. So this is when you need the planes to come in and drop some bombs and paratroopers, right? You'll pick one from this deck, maybe. And we should have something for the Germans here. out what we have here for Germans okay so what we have is deck morale deck morale and then you have more American reinforcements Americans have reinforcements like crazy in this game and then you get the German reinforcements now it's German playing Artillery deck number two, artillery deck number one, let's see all together, and supply deck number one. That's it, so in terms of supply deck number one, supply, supply, munitions, yep, when you already need, you get one of these. Artillery deck, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. When you need to fire at a distance. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Yeah, the Germans. Let's see the Germans. So, the ones that said American were the planes. So, only the Americans could have support from planes. But the Germans have reinforcements. So, we can reinforce the squads or the troops, veterans, specialized reinforcements. Okay. okay. Oh, the Americans have also reinforcements. So, so I think the Germans are having less things to reinforce because the Americans they both have. They both seem to have the reinforcements there. Right? But the Americans have the plane, so I've not seen what the Germans have to, to compensate. Morale, morale, if they really need to compensate anything. Maybe these cards belong to to the Americans? To, to the German? Clear minds? Mm, I don't know. So yeah, many of these these videos I'm on a discovery journey at the same time as you are. So, one final thing that I would like to show you would be the back of the box. Just a quick view. Okay. Where you have... You have here this, so... Good, so this was base game from Tide of Iron. I hope you like it. I hope if you are a fan of Second World War or miniatures game, 
Don't forget to subscribe to con my content and leave a like. And as mentioned before, I'm going to follow up this video with the expansion for Tides of War. So subscribe, don't forget to follow the content. And I hope to see you on the next and all the others that I will follow it. Thank you.